Welcome to 2022. I hope all of you have had a really good break over the Christmas holidays and are ready to get back into schools when they start opening up again over the next few days. Now this video is really a bit of an update uh, and what I'm going to first of all talk about are the 2022 exams. Now at this time the exams have not been cancelled. Now I did make a video a while ago where I said that I was 99.99% certain that exams were going to go ahead. I've kind of maybe adjusted that very slightly, but I'm still, and we'll see if I'm, uh, I'm correct or not, I'm still 99.9% .9 sure that exams are going to be going ahead this summer. Because although there's this kind of massive wave of cases at the moment, by the time we get to April, May, June time, the cases should be a lot lower, fingers crossed, and that means that it will be safe and practical for exams to go ahead. And also the alternative of centre or teacher assessed grades is not great for teachers or students. So I think, and my prediction is that the 2022 exams are still going to be going ahead. Now, sort of from this, there's going to be information that's going to be released by the 7th of February. And this will give you a bit more information about exactly what is coming up on each paper in terms of the topics and also the practical experiments that you need to know about. Now, I'm sure that this is going to be released hopefully towards the end of January, early February, and when it comes out, it will all be published by the exam boards. Your teachers will be pouring over it to make sure that they then prepare you as well as they possibly can for the things that are going to be coming up in your exams. But it does say in the small print on a lot of the, the information coming from the exam boards that there will still be maybe one or two marked questions about topics from across the whole course. And therefore, my advice to you is to still revise everything, but just make sure you pay particular attention to the things that the exam boards talk about. But we'll see what happens, and I'll make more videos when that comes out. The other thing, in the lead up to the 2022 exams, is there will be plenty of mock exams in school. Now, there's got to be at least three of them in case these were cancelled, and that would mean then that your teachers have some evidence on which to base your grades, but ultimately, take your mock exams seriously and that will not only allow your teachers to see where you're currently working but also it will really help you prepare for your exams which are going to be coming up in the summer. Now that's kind of a little bit further ahead. What's coming up in the next few weeks? Well I reckon in the next few weeks there's going to be quite a lot of disruption and some of the disruption will be due to the extra testing that's taking place at the moment often before you go back into schools. There will be disruption to your normal lessons, the fact you've got to wear face masks if you're in England in class. But also there's going to be disruption due to people isolating due to COVID and also teacher shortages because ultimately there's going to be a lot of teachers there meeting lots of people every day and I know many, many people who've already got COVID at the moment. And that's going to mean that with this disruption there's going to still be a big demand for online learning. And that might be for students who have to isolate, maybe teachers are ill. And also, to be honest, online learning, it really has come on leaps and bounds over the years. And this will help you prepare for any exams that you have coming up in the summer. Now, I have loads of stuff for physics. I think you probably know that already. I've got GCSE physics online and A-level physics online, where I have over a thousand videos that explain everything you need to know for the physics course. And again, you can also subscribe to the premium plan, which means you get access to hundreds more videos. But all the information about that is on my website. But I do think there's going to be lots and lots of short-term disruption. But ultimately, I do think the 2022 exam is going to go ahead. So that is my prediction. Um, we'll see if I'm wrong. Who knows? If you do have any questions, what I will do is answer them every Monday between now and the exam time. So if you have any questions, put a comment beneath the video and I'll do my best to answer that question um, in a future video. Also, I've got loads of stuff coming out on TikTok, including live streams and daily videos where I'm using this light board. And by the way, I'm not actually writing backwards. This is what I currently look like uh, as I write on the screen and then I flip the image when I'm doing the editing. Uh, but yeah, this light board uh, by a company called Learning Glass, they've given it to me to use and I think it is absolutely amazing when I do proper physics explanations. Um, so yeah, basically uh, keep an eye on what I'm doing. If you haven't already done so, you can follow me on TikTok. You can subscribe on um, YouTube where we are at the moment. And also you can go to my website, sign up to the premium plan or get your teachers to buy the school subscription. And there's going to be loads and loads of things I'm doing to help you prepare for any of your mock exams or your real exams coming up in 2022. So yeah, I'll see you around. Hope it's all going well and uh, see you soon. Thank you.